Hey, what's up? What's going on? It's your girl, Mary Jane. Please like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart, my peeps, my peoples. I also would like to apologize for all my technical difficulties right now. Oh, I'm trying to get it together. But um, I just want to say thank you to everybody that like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos. I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I just wanted to say thank you. And also, you know, today we learned that DMX has checked himself into rehab to get off a of house arrest and also to travel to different um, states and different venues to perform. And, you know, this is my second video about DMX. I would just like for all of us, including myself and everybody else that, you know, a fan of DMX, that likes DMX, also to just lift him up in prayer, give him the encouragement, give him the strength, give him, give him the power to move forward in life, to remove all the demons and the addictions that he struggled through. And also give his family support, his family that loves him, stuck beside him through all the the, the rough battles and, you know, and watch their father, you know, kind of like deteriorate as well. And also, you know, just pray for everybody that you know that has a drug addiction, that is suffering through it, that's trying to get help, is trying to move forward. But, you know, the chemicals and the drugs just sends off a reaction in people's brains and their minds is just like they need it it's like they can't go without it and sometimes people think oh my 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 the, whoever the person's in my life in their life doesn't love them enough doesn't care that care for them enough because they're still addicted to drugs but the stuff is so strong and also when you do drugs for a long time special chemical drugs it also causes a, a lot of type of uh, mental illness um and people's heads and their brains so once they do get you know clean or whatever they now they suffer from all the the, the brain dysfunction that the drug has caused in their brains to their frontal lobe so i just want to say you know just pray for everyone that is that you know of that is suffering from a drug addiction some people that you know that you think that would never change even the people that you see out that are homeless or some of the people that a strung out that you do know just pray for them to be safe or pray for them not to be taken advantage of because you also know during the time that dmx has been ad addicted to drugs he has suffered a lot of losses as far as people coming into his life managing his money but being on drugs and things like that you you don't care about things like that you don't care if your accountant or your lawyer or if your promoter or somebody else is, you know, taking half of your money. As long as you got enough money to get high and a place to sleep, you're okay. So, you know, DMX, you know, will be going to trial for back taxes. Hopefully that they see that this man has a mental illness and a lot of people have, you know, took in his money. And he's not in the right state, the right state of mind, the right frame of mind to actually control his empire, to control his business. And just lift him up in prayer and lift everybody up in prayer that you know that's suffering through an addiction that's trying to get better. And even if they're not trying to get better, that one day that they'll just get that wake up call in their head and that switch will flip for them to get the help that they need. And they, and they are no longer addicted to drugs. And also, you know, DMX was supposed to be where, you know, Nas is at, where Jay-Z is at today. Because, you know, DMX was like... um especially with him and Aaliyah, Romeo Must Die, and also just DMX acting in movies. Tell me he wasn't an awesome actor. Tell me you didn't believe his acting. It was it was awesome to see him trans, um, trans, um, transfer over to, you know, acting, get into the acting, get into the movie business, you know, and you only knew that at that time and point when you seen him, you know, dibbling into the music, um, the music, the movie business that, you know, his career was going to soar. He was going to do a lot more. And, you know, he does have money. He did have money at the time and all the, all the things like that, but you can have all the money in the world. And, but if you're suffering from past abuse, past traumatic syndromes, past traumatic access ha that has happened to you in your life, money can do only one thing is suppress them on feelings and what happened to you and take your mind off of it but ultimately what you suffer as a child what you this the abuse that you suffer from the abuse that you suffer from as a young adult will come back to you you know and that's where the money comes in to get help but a lot of people don't believe in getting help a lot of people don't believe in sitting on a therapist's couch a lot of people don't believe in that 
But sometimes if you don't if you don't want to sit on a therapist couch, find someone that you can that can help you with counseling, someone that's not judgmental, someone that can actually, you know, help you go through the right way and also find it in yourself, like, you know, meditate, you know, um, try to get an inner peace inside of yourself because if you don't somewhere down the line them traumatic syndromes and the traumatic abuse and all the ill things that you know that you face and all the traps that you have faced but you got past it can also come back to haunt you and so just get the help that you need and pray for those that need help and don't know how to ask for help pray that they get help let's just send energy and prayer out there for people that really want to change and also pray and energy for the families the children the aunts the uncles the nieces the nephews the great aunts the great grandparents the mother-in-law the sister-in-law for encouragement to continue to help whoever that's near them or in their family that is suffering from an addiction and it doesn't look like it's going to clear up anytime soon but pray for their health pray for their well-being pray for their strength pray that they get back to a place where they understand who they are again and could heal from their past traumatic syndromes their past traumatic um ptsd all the things that has happened to them so let's just lift dmx up and pray and everybody else that's suffering through a lot of traumatic syndromes a lot of traumatic um, situation that has happened to them that they have the strength to keep moving forth and the strength to keep fighting so anyways one love when my dogs that all dmx dogs pray for him peace i'm out